Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm not going to be streaming this, unfortunately, because my internet has been so freaking bad. But let's do the relics anyway. Um, hopefully I can give you guys some information about these relics. I'm considering doing a 3 pool, but I'll think about it. We'll see. Um, I don't know. These relics look pretty good, and it's the first... I believe it's the first banner with two BSBs in it, so that is pretty damn cool. Because the only time that we're actually going to get double BSBs is in the double BSB festival, which is coming in a few months, I believe. So, let's get to the relics. First we have Zidane's The Ogre, which I actually know this uh, weapon because I've been playing Final Fantasy IX. This one's an interesting one. These BSBs are actually pretty mediocre in terms of the ranking of BSBs, but pretty good overall. Attack 145, deal 6 range physical wind attacks to all targets, temporarily lower their wind resistance and grant haste investment to the user as normal. Okay, the first secondary ability is Mug Attack. Deal physical damage to one target and temporarily lower its attack a large amount, temporarily raise the user's... So these are pretty much steel power, steel defense, right? Pretty much that. But instead they call it Mug Power and Mug Defense. I guess that's pretty cool. And it includes the attack too. So it's pretty much a breakdown included. So yeah, it's actually pretty damn good. But other BSBs of course are a lot more powerful. This actually saves you from bringing a support character a lot of the time. I believe the only support that is pretty useful at the moment is Quina on top of my head. I may be wrong about that. Um, but yeah. So, physical wind attacks kind of going to be a little bit weird, but lower their resist, lower their wind resistance can be pretty useful too. Too bad not a lot of wind attacks either. Dagger of Resolve. This actually does not come back after this. Well, who knows? Maybe in a few months' time. Attack 101. That's very high. Magic 136. Mind 122. This one I'm kind of a little bit iffy on because I got Wizard's Rod and of course that one's fr freaking cool. They made a dagger look so cool as well, even though it looks exactly like the one star dagger. <laughs> um, deal 3 summoning magic light, summoning magic lightning and holy attacks. Man, that's a mouthful. Also, this adds a small boost to lightning damage, so yeah, remove is pretty damn cool. I remember getting removed in the game. Okay, to all targets, grant haste and burst mode to the user. First one's healing light, and second's removes judgment. Reminds me really of Yuna's BSB, to be honest, because that one does the AoE little heal, but this one does a very large amount heal. So I guess this one's... I think it's better, to be honest. Two summoning magic lightning and holy attacks. I believe this one's would do more damage, and of course the healing may be pretty useful as well. I don't really use Yuna's little tiny heal, because it only heals like 700. And when you're versing nightmares, you know how hectic you have to heal all the time. Dragon's Dragon Knight's Great Coat, so this is free as coat, looks pretty nice. Deal 3, range physical wind attacks all targets and remove the delay from the user's jump attacks for 3 turns. I can imagine this being really, really good. Um, keeping on using jump, can't be hit, and just keep spamming that shit. Is this... I believe this is the same as Kane's, isn't it? So, yeah, pretty damn good. Bistro Flock, I think this one's the first time this actually came. Attack 144, definitely raise the party's attack a moderate amount. And their defense a small amount. Let me see how much this is. Oh, it's 30% attack and defense. Does that mean, though... Does that mean... It must stack with shout, right? That has to stack with shout. I don't know. There's not really much information from what I'm reading. But, yeah. If that stacks with shout, I believe it does. Because it does attack and defense. So, it's a completely separate kind of buff. So, it must do. That's pretty awesome for an SB, then. Kind of similar to the... Wait. Yeah, it's pretty much similar to... The fucking shield that... Apocalypse shield. Yeah, in Final Fantasy XII. Same thing. Thunder Gloves. This one's pretty useful, too. Because it does... Uh, the defense a moderate amount, so 50%, so we've covered this one before, but braces are always good with all stats. Same as Ultimate Sword, we covered this before, but 
this doesn't end up being that good because Paralyzed doesn't really affect many bosses anymore. When it first came out, it was pretty good though. Red Hat for an attack boost. I guess it's okay. Because in Sid missions, the only attack boost that I can think of now is the Bistro's Fork. But yeah, gauntlets, not too bad because it's a gauntlet. Braces, right? Braces? Yeah, bracer. Okay. Sorry, I had like a lot to cover in that one. Very interesting. Banner. So many people actually got the dagger of resolve, which I'm really jealous. Oh, we got a five star! <gasps> oh yeah! Oh yeah! That feels so good! Oh. Wow! And I was just talking about that! <gasps> That's so cool. The drop rate for this seems pretty damn high. So many people got it from what I've seen in the Facebook page. That's so cool. That is so cool. Locking that. Oh, another verse soul rake. Oh, yummy. <laughs> oh, okay, looks like I don't need to do a three pull then. Pretty damn happy. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. And I'll see you in the plus battles where I do little challenges, if you guys don't know. Little challenges being like three person to four person challenges and it ends up being pretty damn fun overall.